Hello. Okay, today we're going to be doing a little bit of editing using layers, which we looked at last time. And we're going to be using our own image, as well as an image we found from the internet, to put together what's known as a double exposure image. Now, a double exposure is a term which essentially means two images shown within a single photograph. And that's what we're looking to put together today. So, um, first thing I want you to do is I want you to go and find a flag of your country. Um, ideally, if you can get one where it is blowing in the wind, that's even better. So save it on, or go to Google, um, search country's flag large, save one of the large versions. If it's blowing, even better. Second thing I want you to do is to go and take a picture of yourself against a plain white background or a plain color background. This is going to make life much simpler for you afterwards, um, rather than if there's lots of stuff going on in the background. When you have done that, navigate your way to Pixlr E, and you are going to open up the image that you have taken of yourself. So, let's go with HD for this one. And there we go, there is me. Okay, so I have myself on a plain background. Now, Last time we looked at layers a little bit, and today we're gonna to do it again. I'm gonna hit this plus button, I'm gonna to go to image, and I'm going to open up the image of the flag that I have saved. Um, so I've got the worst flag here, if I open it up. Okay, now I need to stretch this so that it fills at least my face. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it a little bit larger. If you want to get a little bit technical, you can right click on the flag layer and drop down the transparency just to make sure it's filling all of that area. This one here is a little bit small. There we go. If I can get it over the neck, I'm gonna be even happier. There we go. Okay, and we can bring the transparency up. Now, for now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to hide this layer. Okay, I'm gonna hide this layer for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is there's more of me here than we need. We don't need to see my arms. So I'm gonna crop this image in a little bit from the bottom just to where my sleeves are. There, I'm gonna hit enter. Excellent, okay, let's bring my flag back for a second. Okay, now I've got a bit more wiggle room with my flag, so I'm gonna move it up slightly. Okay, from here, depending on what you have going on in the picture of the flag, you may need to make some adjustments as well, but let's see how this goes. I'm gonna right click on the layer of the flag. I'm going to go to blending mode, and I'm going to go to overlay. Okay, all right, so we can see that we can see some of the image of myself and we can see some of the image of the flag as well. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to click this which is gonna temporarily hide the flag layer. Now, you will notice where there is a tick box for me, there should be a padlock for you. So if you can just do me a favor and double click that, it will unlock the layer. Now. Remember how I asked you to take a picture against a plain white background? Well, if you did, then this bit's gonna be much easier. And if you didn't, then things are gonna get a bit difficult. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate what's known as the magic wand tool or the wand selection. You're gonna click on it. And what you can do now, if I click on the background where there is a color, it will try its best to select everything within the picture that is connected that is the same color. Now. This is too much because all I actually want to do here is I want to remove the background. So I'm going to hit Control D to deselect. I'm going to adjust what is known as the tolerance. I'm going to bring this all the way down to about 12. And I'm going to try again. Okay, that seems much, much better. Um, if you want a slightly smoother selection, um, what I would suggest that you do is you're just going to increase that bevering slightly to about five or six. Now this is just going to help you notice a little bit more of a smoother edge as it's lining up and removing some of the area. I'm going to increase this tolerance a little bit more. Let's try 16, see if I can just catch these last little bits of background. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. So backspace will remove almost all of that. And I can see there's just some parts in the corners that I need to remove. So Control D to deselect. I'm gonna go find my eraser tool again. I'm gonna to make quite a big brush size and I'm gonna remove all of these corner pieces that I do not want. Okay, so let's 
tidy up these corners. Doesn't matter too much if we lose some of my shoulder or sleeve in the bottom. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the layer tool and I'm gonna click plus again, empty layer. I'm gonna click and hold and drag it to the bottom. I am going to go to the paint selection tool or the fill tool, I should say. I'm gonna make sure that I have the whitest white selected in the corner, hit okay. Click on the background, so now, in essence, all it looks like I've done is I've removed my background and I've put another white background there, which seems really silly, but is entirely necessary for what comes next. I'm gonna bring my flag back, and you might notice already that I'm kind of giving, getting the effect that I want here. Now, to do that, I've made sure that I had screen selected. Um, so multiply, you'll notice, doesn't really work because I can see the flags, um, the parts of the flag I don't want to see, I can see the background. Um, overlay does the trick really, really well. Screen does the trick okay. Darken doesn't really, you can have a look for the rest, but screen or overlay will be the trick for what you want for that. So I can even now choose to navigate and move the flag around a little bit. Say for example, I want that kind of part of the dragon across my face. So I wanna move it a little bit so it's running across my face. There we go, I might be happy with that. Yep, yeah, I think so. Pretty good, and then I'm gonna hit enter or there we go, so it's selected. Okay, so what I can do also is I can drop the transparency down slightly as well, so I can see a bit more of the portrait and a bit less of the flag. If, say for example, like in this instance, the colors on the flag are very overpowering and they're removing the portrait and making it difficult to see. Um, it might be that you like it this way, it might be that you think, mm, I prefer it when it's a little bit lower and I can see both the flag and the portrait. When you have managed to do that, um, as this is looking pretty good to me, what I want you to do is I want you to go to File, I want you to go to Save, and this is the first assignment I'm gonna get you to submit. So, um, via Manage Back or emailing it across to me, I'm gonna get you to submit this file to me so I can see how you have gotten on with using these different um, tools and different techniques to try and put together this double exposure. If you run into any difficulties, please let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your results. Good luck, have fun, bye bye.